Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have learned about the inline event listener. So that means for the HTML element itself, we can give an attribute that is nothing but on click attribute. And we can use that way. So we can call the function JavaScript function and we can implement it. So the second one which we are trying to learn now is in this video is inline property. So through the inline property, inline property means so the element has a properties we already seen the element properties right i will try i will show you again the element properties so in that properties we will be having whole set of event properties the event names we have seen it click event hover event and all those things so we can make use of this property and we can write a function for the property so that whenever an event occurs that method will be invoked so let's try to see it how we can implement it so now normally first one is we will be having a button right so this time we will be having a button okay so this is the button so previously we have included using the on click like this using the attribute so normally generally the people will say that don't use this one so this is the old one so like this they will be telling that but i am explaining you why because it's already it's there the implementation is there that is the reason we need to it's a it's it's necessary that we should know about that concept also we will learn all the concepts so next one is first we need to capture that one so here how we can get it through the document dot query selector so document dot query selector of button so first we will capture that element node so now what we will try to do is so we will be having a property that is nothing but on click so this takes the function so here i am using the arrow implement notation so if you don't have knowledge about this arrow implement notation means so you can refer my javascript course ecma script course in that ecma script course i have explained you about this one or otherwise you can also use this anonymous function also and in this one we can write alert of i or something like this okay so that's it that's it so this is how we can implement that this is how the inline property is implemented so let's try to see the practical implementation of this one so if you go to our uh, here this is our thing and i am removing this on click okay so this is our button i am removing the script code also so now we are having a button right so now this button first what we need to do first we need to grab that element so grab or capture or catch anything grab the element so which you are trying to attach the event event handler so grab that element so here let button element is equal to document dot i am using the query selector if you also if you want you can also use the id and you can get it by get element by id so anything you can use it so here i am using button that's it so let's try to console this button element i will show you the concept so button element so let's console this one and see what could be the uh, output here so if i try to see here we are able to see this element right so but we need to see the properties that are available for this button so for this one what we need to do as i already told you you know console.dir so dir so now if i try to see here we are able to get the object representation of this button and if you open this one we are able to see way long properties so there are so many properties available for this button each one so styles everything we have implemented right button dot style dot like this so where it will be in the a b c d f g h i j k l m n o p q r s so here somewhere you will be having yeah style dot background color like this we'll be implementing the same scenario so when you want to write a handler for a event so here you'll be able to see this all events start with on on about on animation on before these are all the events available these are all the events available so here we are able to see way long events right these are all events in this one we are able to see on click event so this is the thing which we are going to implement the same things the same property names which we have seen it here so you can implement it here also so in the inline event listeners right the same name which you are trying to use it the same name is here available so if you are having any doubt if you want to refer to any properties or anything means you can go here and you can check for the event appropriate event name and you can implement it on drag and drag and on click on mouse over so you'll be having everything on mouse over on mouse enter on mouse leave so these are all the things are available okay 
so this is uh, these are all the methods so right now our implementation is on click so let's try to use this on click and implement it so here i am using button element right so we need to use button element oh sorry button element dot on click so we need to use on click sorry on click is equal to so it is a function so arrow function anonymous function i'm using and here i can write console.log hello world that's it finish console.log hello world it's done so let's try to see the output whether we can able to get it output or not so now if i try to click in this one so if i try to click here it is not coming okay, okay i am using the console right so let's try to use the alert so which we have used it previously then we can able to see the output instead of seeing in the console so now if i click on this one see now we are able to see the alert message also so this is about the inline properties this is how we will be implementing the inline properties so hope you understood about this inline properties these are very basic things so that is the reason i am moving very fast forward so you'll try to learn more about these events also so now next going on to this one we'll learn the third type event listener so we will learn those things also yeah that's it guys about this inline property implementation hope you understood about this uh, another way of implementation of this event listener also if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you